Saturday today. I have just got back from a wedding that I have been at since Thursday. On Wednesday night before I went to the wedding, when I was six days past ovulation, I stupidly decided to have a go at taking a pregnancy test because Lawrence and I have been trying but not trying this past month to get pregnant or just taking a what will be will be attitude. I'll explain more about that another time because I'm too nervous to talk about it now. But anyway, six days past ovulation, I took a pregnancy test stupidly because I am what they call in the trying to conceive world a pee on a stick addict and basically I'm addicted to taking pregnancy tests. Six days past ovulation, if your six days past ovulation is way too early to take a pregnancy test to get a positive, it is technically the earliest you could get a positive because it's the earliest day that you implant on, but it's really, really incredibly unlikely. The earliest I've ever had a positive is eight days past ovulation and that was super, super faint. So I took one anyway and I was absolutely blown away with the fact that within a few seconds seconds it came up as positive. Let me show you. So here it is. Which one did I take first? I think I took this one. So you can see easily that there's two lines on there. So easy to tell and it came up within probably about 30 seconds of me <laughs> peeing on this. So I was absolutely shocked. Then because I was so shocked I took another one and that was just as positive. It's impossible for me to be six days past ovulation. Like it is just not possible to have a pregnancy test that dark. So I think that my tracking must have been off. I've been using this, which I've done a video on before, which I will link up here if you want to watch it. Basically you breathe into it and it tracks your CO2 output to tell you when you're fertile and when you're ovulating. It has been really accurate for the past few months. This month, I felt in my body that I had ovulated or was about to ovulate, but this kept on saying low fertility. And then it went on for about 10 days and finally told me that I'd ovulated or that I was, you know, in my fertile period and then had ovulated. I did think it was a bit odd at the time, but I trust this because it's been right for the past few months for me. So. <laughs> So um, I can only think that I must have ovulated that week before I felt like my body was ready to, um, even though this said that I didn't. The strange thing is though that this told me that week later that I had my high fertility and then it went back to low fertility again when I thought I had ovulated. So I'm not really sure what's up with this. <laughs> bit more investigation required. So anyway, I sent Lawrence to the shop to get a digital pregnancy test. It's here, it's not, it's gone blank now because they do, but it said pregnant. He also came back with these, which were the incorrect ones, but because I wanted the digital. I don't know if you can see, but I'll put a picture in. There is a cross on this, although they're not as strong as the first response. First response are my preferred testing stick because clear blue, are never as strong in my opinion. Anyway, skip to today. I've been away for the past two and a half, three days. So it was Wednesday night, Thursday night, Friday night, Saturday night. So it's been three days since I took those tests. I'm back now. I didn't take any pregnancy tests with me on purpose because I wanted to just enjoy my time away. But now I need to test again. And the reason that I'm going to test again is because if any of you know my history, I've got lots of videos on my channel about this, but I have had multiple miscarriages in the past. We didn't share, but actually beginning of this year, 2021, we had another miscarriage. That was our fifth miscarriage. So um, we're very nervous. <laughs> about this pregnancy sticking. I'll talk more about how I feel about being pregnant with a third another time. I am very happy, um, but I think any time you become pregnant, it comes with a wave of emotion, doesn't it? And you start thinking about all the pros and the cons, um, but ultimately we are both really happy, but I can't allow myself to be excited until we kind of know for sure and we won't know for sure until we pass that kind of safe point 
my longest pregnancy that didn't stick. I got to 10 weeks. So we'll just see with this one. But that was the only one that was like a longer one. All the others only lasted maybe six or seven weeks. And the continuing trend with all of those pregnancies was that my tests either didn't get any darker and they kind of stayed the same. They started getting lighter or it took a really, really long time to get positives. So, um, you know, maybe like two, three days after my missed period, then I'd finally get a positive, but it would be really faint and they would progress, but it seemed like my hormone levels weren't at the level that they should be for that stage in pregnancy. Um, so I'm hoping the fact that I got such strong positives on what I think probably wasn't six days past ovulation, but probably was about 12 days past ovulation, 12 or 13, um, is good. So that means I should be about 15 or 16 days past ovulation today. I've passed my, when my period should have come. Um, if we think about the fact that I probably ovulated a week earlier than I thought. Um, so anyway, I'm going to take another test and I'm incredibly nervous. Lawrence has gone out, the boys are in bed, but they're not quite asleep yet. And I just kind of shoved Lawrence out the house because I'm so nervous. And um, I've been driving in the car for nearly six hours because of terrible traffic and I'm in a terrible mood. Um, I thought that I wasn't experiencing many pregnancy symptoms, which was making me feel nervous. But bad mood <laughs> is definitely one of them. Um, and again, I'll talk about my symptoms another time. So anyway, I've got three tests, three brand test brands, the same ones that I have here. So the first response, the clear blue like plus one and another digital. I don't think I'm going to take them all now. Um, I'm going to take the first response, see what it looks like, and then we'll go from there. So test with me. Okay, so here's the test. I've got my wee down here, but you don't need to see that. Just to kind of set the scene, this isn't on a very long hold. I probably went to the toilet two hours ago. Those original tests, the ones that were dark, again, were on a just a few hour hold, not in the morning. It's about seven o'clock now. So here is the, the blank test. Let me just dip this. I'm a terrible person for watching tests develop, which you really shouldn't do because, just turn that exposure down a bit, um, which you really shouldn't do because sometimes they come up with a line as the dye passes across and then the line fades as the test gets darker. But I can already see the line and the dye's passing across. Oh my goodness, that is unequivocal. The control line hasn't even come up. I have been so shitting nervous about doing this test. Right, here we go. Can you already see that second line? So here's the control line. Here's the test line. Can you already see it starting to develop? It's been literally a few seconds. I'll wait, I'll leave it for a minute and just to let it fully develop. I think this is a really good sign. I'm so, oh, I'm so relieved because I've been just working myself up into a frenzy, thinking about how I've not been feeling many symptoms. All weekend, by the way, at this wedding, I was pretending to drink alcohol <laughs> so that nobody would know. I think I had one or two sips of champagne to, with the toasts, which is, which is okay. Yes, I am 100% pregnant. It's developed a little more now. You want to see? I can't believe how quickly that came up. We'll give it a little bit more time to develop. I feel like I'm totally gonna want to do the other ones as well. So I had my, I started, the first day of my last period was on a Sunday. It's a Saturday today, so my weeks turn over tomorrow. Now, according to my last missed period, I'm five weeks pregnant tomorrow, but I think probably I'm actually four weeks pregnant. Um, so whether I will get anything different on the digital, I don't know. I got one to two weeks last time. So that's one to two weeks since ovulation, not one to two weeks pregnant. They're a bit confusing like that. The trouble with digitals is that hormone progression when you're pregnant isn't linear. 
so they can really mess with your head. I haven't taken many digital pregnancy tests with my pregnancies just because of the kind of the headache and heartache that they can cause with worrying that, um, you know, why isn't it going from one, going to two to three weeks? Why is it not going to three plus weeks? I've actually never had a three plus digital pregnancy test and I have two children. So, so um, you know, they're just not always very reliable. This is getting super dark now, this test. Okay, let's do the clear blue, the cross one. And then judging on how dark that is, I'll decide whether to do the digital. I told you I'm a pianistic addict, didn't I? Told you. I have got so many pregnancy test experiment videos planned for you guys. I say for you guys, they're actually for me because I love watching them and I really want to do them myself. So stay tuned or subscribe if you aren't already and you like things like that because they will be coming as long as I can kind of fit them in before I hit the sickness bump which inevitably will come because I get super sick in my pregnancies or at least I have in my last two. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Right, the die is starting to go across on that one. Let's put the lid on. Okay, shouldn't watch but I'm going to watch anyway because it's more fun that way. So these ones are not as strong and I find that they take longer to develop. So you can't see the line straight away. Like you can see a shadow, I can see a shadow of it appearing. The control line hasn't even appeared yet, by the way. Um, so I, I guess they just take a little bit longer than the first response. The first response, if you're pregnant, it's like, bam, you're pregnant. Um, but that second line is definitely starting to develop. I'll show you in a minute because I don't think you'll be able to pick up on it on camera. Let's have a look at this other first response now. It's had time to do its thing. There's no denying that, is there? <laughs> oh man, here we go again. I'll be crazy having three kids, probably. Probably. Whew, it's going to be a third boy, I just know it. Which will be wonderful. I, I love being a boy mum. Obviously, I'd be happy if it was a girl too. Happy, healthy baby is all I care about. That's something that, well, I'm sure everybody, that's all everybody wants, of course. But um, when you've had so many losses, happy, healthy baby is really the thing that's on your mind. And, you know, gender is just takes a back seat. <laughs> Whatever the gender is, is what the gender is. And um, we will love this little boy or little girl as much as our other two. Let's see how this one's doing. Okay, this one is a lot more obvious than the other one was when I first took it. The thing with the clear blue is that the line can, the pregnant line can be quite faint until you're really far on in pregnancy. If you'll even be able to see that. Can you see the cross? I'll take a picture and insert it if you can't because it might be easier for you to see on the picture but that is definitely darker. So they do say if you want to do pregnancy test progression like this and kind of track your pregnancy through pregnancy tests then you need to wait one you need to do one every two days rather than every day because that's when you'll see progression. If you do one every day sometimes you can stress yourself out because lines can be darker and this is a prime example actually because these two tests these are the ones I took on Wednesday they were dipped in the same wee um, and one is lighter than the other. So it's literally just the amount of dye in the test. But if I'd have taken the darker one and then the next day taken the one that turned out to be lighter, I would have been stressing out because the line looks a little bit lighter. But it, all it is is just the amount of dye that's in the test. So it's just like a word of fair warning, really, if you're going to do it. Um, but it is a really great way of tracking your pregnancy and some kind of people say not to do it but if you've had losses or if you're just a person that likes to feel in control of a situation I think it's a really great thing to do because generally if you aren't seeing progression it probably means that you're either earlier than you thought and you're not as far along or you have got low, low hormone levels for some reason whether that means miscarriage or something else but it is a good way of tracking, I personally think. 
Should we do the digital? I don't want to waste a digital test if it's going to say one to two weeks. But I also don't want to stress myself out if I take it in five days time and it still says one to two weeks because we could technically still be in that one to two week window. I'm really just trying to talk myself into taking a pregnancy test. With the darkness of this, which is not that blazing dark for clear blue, I think it's still going to say one to two weeks pregnant on a digital. So I'm going to wait. I'm not going to take the digital, digital test. I know I'm pregnant. I don't need it to tell me I'm pregnant. Um, it's just more for fun and I'll save that for another video. So I'm pregnant guys. <laughs> oh, I'm absolutely over the moon and so excited but also incredibly nervous for what's to come. Not only worried about losing the pregnancy, but also really about sickness. You know, vomiting and peeing yourself at the same time, it's not that fun. So yay, we've got all that to come. I'm gonna try to film as much as possible because um, I know lots of you find that content interesting and if you don't, then you don't have to watch. Um, but it might be difficult to film completely regularly if I'm feeling super, super sick, so. We will see. Thank you very much for watching this video, everyone. And uh, don't forget to subscribe, like the video, <laughs> I guess, if you're happy for us that we're having baby number three. And yeah, I will see you all soon. Bye, everybody.